Hello, everybody. It's Sandra and her mom. Hi there. Now, today I'm going to be taking a walk around this auction. So it is a shop with me video, but I'm going to break in and show you the lots I bought. I'm also going to put prices on the screen just in case anybody wants to buy anything. No pressure, as always, because I will sell it elsewhere if it doesn't sell on YouTube. All right. Well, thank you for coming. And I guess we will just get started right now. Wait a minute. Can I do a shout out to Susan and Jim in Florida? I think you just did. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all these lovely items. I love this lot. This lot came up early in the day. That looks like the sun. Look at that. There are 15 rings there. I was trying to, whoa, look at that. Wow. I was trying to kind of conserve my money because I knew there that there were a few lots here that were must-haves. I was trying to not spend all my money too early in the day. Oh, wow. That whole lot sold for $340. Of course, if I had been bidding any more on it, it probably would have gone up. Something to think about. This lot, I forgot to write what it sold for. Sorry. There are some pretty stuff here. I'm always looking for things that are very unusual, a little bit quirky, very, very well made. In the case of things that are gold or silver, things that are heavy. This lot, I, I know I was bidding on it. Oh, oh boy. Yep. That is a good one. That is a good one. But this one came up early too. Oh, that whole lot only sold for 120. Oh no. Beautiful sterling silver pieces. I love those marcasites. Look at that. Wow. That one was definitely a bargain. Now this lot, look at that. OMG. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I love that. I love this whole lot. This is a beautiful, beautiful lot. This came up slightly later in the day. This was, for me, one of the lots that I really did want to have. Everything is so stunning. I bought this lot. Let's have a look at it in more detail right now. I love that lot. And look at this. Oh, Sandy. Do you love this? Oh. Well, look at the bail. I mean, they yep. just do it so it's nicely. It's so very, very fancy, isn't it's it? Beautiful. It looks like oh gosh, they're it's beautiful. very old. It is sterling silver with gold on top, which is called vermeil, of course. Lovely. New in the box, never used. Mm -hmm. And I think these are likely not glass too. I think those are semi precious. Let's just read a little bit about Technobond. You have purchased the finest quality platinum bonded to sterling silver available. Your Technobond Classic Treasure is manufactured exclusively for home shopping network. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So this is, I guess, what they're saying is this gold will never be rubbed away. I'm sure you could if you wanted to really abuse it. But with normal use, this should look like this forever. Yeah, look at that bail. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. It mm. truly is beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Great for yeah. a torque, too. Uh -huh. Lovely. That is lovely. It's so fancy. It certainly looks like real gold because it is real gold, only on the outside and sterling silver. It's a good one. Here it is. Oh, I just found the paper that was in there. There's the item number. Technobond Etruscan multi gem Cross Pendant. Okay, so this is actually a Technobond. Sometimes I worry that they might not be in the correct boxes. Oh, that's so pretty. Anyway, I'm just keep that in there. It's good to, good to have those together. I was looking through this last night and I did this, but it was probably ready to go anyway, so I'm glad I did it and I didn't sell it and then it happened when it was in someone else's possession. So this is Noel Koppenin, a sterling idea, Alec... Alexandra, Virginia, but this, this happened. I don't think it would be worth it for me to get these repaired. I get charged $20 for that. And I, I don't really think it'll be worth it. Anyway, that's a shame. 
Nice box though, at least. <laughs> uh, okay. So with a lot of these HSN or QVC, they cut up all the information on it, which is nice. Sterling silver half ball stud earrings. I don't know what, what name brand that is, but here they are. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, those are cool. So they look like the, just the, the ball earrings, but they're only halves. So that would go right up against your ear. Pretty shiny. Yeah. These are really nice, actually. This is a nice yeah. staple item. Yeah. Pretty. Certainly look like they've never been worn. And you're going to get the boxes. This stuff comes in with the pouch and the... This actually came with this, which is pretty nice. Keep the moisture away. Okay. Nice. This is a fantastic name brand. Veronese. This was made in Italy. Look at the presentation. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love boxes. That's a great yeah. box. This is a great box. Ooh, look. look. Even more. Look. A oh pouch. Veronese collection. Famous for beautiful opera houses, ornate monuments, and Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Verona remains one of Italy's most enchanting cities. Inspired by this elegance, we created Veronese Collection Jewelry. In wearing these intricate designs of 18 karat bonded sterling silver, you carry with you Italy's romantic sense of style. Well, I know that this is a very expensive thing. And this is 18 karat gold bonded that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it is. There is a little bit of tarnish here. Uh, let me just get that off real fast. Look at this. Beautiful. This absolutely looks like gold. Let me see if I can, we have a little bit of sunlight. What happens in the sunlight? That's not a good representation, is it? Well, it kind of is. We don't have enough sunlight, but I think you get the idea. You graduated. Mm. Fully marked, of course. Mm -hmm. A little bit of tarnish here and there. Let me put this on the neck. Well, there it is in the sunlight. That is truly exquisite. Looks satiny. Yes, definitely. The bigger beads, but the smaller ones are very glitzy. Yeah, the little spacers. Uh -huh. Yep, for sure. That's a beautiful thing. This measures about 20 inches long. Nice. Nice size. Nice size. Yeah. Very, very nice name brand. And here's another Veronese. This is kind of an incredible Byzantine link bracelet. This is about eight inches long. This is beautiful. It looks like real gold. That's the, the takeaway here. Not sure this is coming across on my camera. Oh, maybe I'll put it on the wrist, actually. Let's see if we can get a better idea. I think so. How's that? That certainly looks like it is solid gold, even though it is solid sterling with gold bonded on top, 18 karat gold bonded on top. Love it. This is beautiful. This is clearly marked 925CZ. This is yet another beautiful Vermeil piece. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And if it goes on the, no, I guess it's not going to fit up right. Well, there you go. I like to do this just so you can get an idea of what it would look like on. This is very fancy. I believe, well, let me just show it to you because I don't know what who it is. There's a CZ. See that before? I don't know who that is. It almost looks like it says FC, maybe? I'm not sure. It is beautiful, though. I'm sure this wasn't cheap. It is about a size eight and a half. Do you love that, Mom? Yeah, I sure do. It sure looks real. I tried it on before, but I love it. Looks so real. Lovely. Mm -hmm. 
This is a different name brand, but it's the same type of thing. 18 karat gold clad diamondique jewelry. Go bold with 18 karat gold clad. Well, some of this other stuff may be the same. Well, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it as we go along here. 2009. This is not new stuff, which is a good thing because it's a lot of this is likely not available. That's Ooh. right. Discontinued. So this is a Judith Ripka. This is a very collectible name brand. Sterling and 14 karat clad, 16 inch clad bold necklace, 28.5 grams. Wow. Yellow gold. Look at the price. That was the price a long time ago. $170 for this. I love the look and the color of 14 karat gold. Not that I don't like 18 karat gold, but. 18 karat is more orangey, isn't it? It has, it seems like it does have yeah. more of an orange, and this is more of a lemony. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah, it is. That is, yes, it is fantastic. Let's put this on our neck. It's very unusual. Even the catch. You know, it's fancy too. Yes. How rich looking is this? Mm -hmm. I love Judith Ripka stuff. Beautiful. $170, like about 15 years ago, it was $170. Wow, wow, wow. Classic. When I saw this, I knew that I had to have the lot. Oh. What this mm -hmm. is, is it's very high quality. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. incredible. It's incredible. Look at the little detailing on her neck. That thing. Is oh, there a yeah. special name for that? <laughs> that little indent she that we is. have on our necks? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. This is truly beautiful. Mm. I mean, really beautiful. And necklace or pin. Necklace or pin. Yeah. Yes. And it is marked HW925. So HW stands for Henrik Winograd. And if you look up his stuff, you'll see that it sells for a pretty penny for sure. And this is sort of strange because that says nine ninety nine silver, and this says nine twenty five. I don't know what that's about. Well, it doesn't matter. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, I is. knew even without knowing who the designer is that this would be something that would sell because of its beauty. It truly is an object of beauty. And some things just don't need stones. I mean, it's just got a, a lot of detail. Yep. A lot of glitz to it because it's so deeply. Yeah. It's got beautiful um, height. Yes, yes. Very beautiful relief. Very much. I love that. Yeah. This isn't something you find every day. That's for sure. I got very excited when I saw this. These earrings are beautiful. This is a designer I have not heard of. But look at those. Look at the amethyst. I don't think this is the original box. I don't think that's a Smithsonian thing. But these are new with the tag. Kai Yin Lo. Made in Hong Kong. These are sterling silver. Vermeil, clearly. Look at those stones. Mm. How pretty. I believe all this stuff was either HSN or QVC. Somebody was a very serious collector of jewelry from this, both of those networks. And they're not tiny either. No, I love the boldness of them. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. at the same time, they are very feminine too. Oh, yes. More that are like works of art. They're beautiful. Yeah. I forgot what was in here. Let's see. I've never heard of this name brand. Suspicion. Now, look at these earrings. Wow. Well. Do you love or do you love? Is that a lover's knot, I wonder? I think it might be. Beautiful. Let's see what it says. Um, I mean, not what it says. Let's just make sure. Okay, there's studs. Oh, wow, not the original backs. I'm surprised. But let's take a look at the little, the little thing. Suspicion, sterling, cultured, freshwater pearl knot earrings. Sometimes when you look up this number too, you can find out information because QVC might still have it up somewhere on the on the internet. I think these are so elegant. I love marcasites, also known as poor man's diamonds. Yes. And here, I guess Suspicion must have specialized in marcasite jewelry. 
And here's the uh, some stuff. Your suspicion marcasite jewelry will create an aura of mystery whenever you wear it. Because these pieces sparkle like diamonds, people will suspect you're wearing real diamond jewelry. That's great. Well, I love these. I love that they look like they are vintage, but they're not. They have that look from decades ago. Beautiful. This is sort of random because these were not bought on TV or online. These were bought at the Limited, a store in the mall, Sterling Silver. Pretty. I don't think they've been worn. A lot of movement. Yeah, I like them. Mm -hmm. Very dangly. Very. Back to the auction. I like this lot. That is Fossil Coral. That's an interesting bracelet. There's only four bracelets in this lot. And of course, there's a 15% buyer's premium. And like I said before, if I was bidding more than I was, the prices would have been higher. I think that lot sold for 110. Oh, I'm sorry, five bracelets. No, oh, that's a really good one too, isn't it? They're all good. They're all good. I had to be very careful what I bought. Now, here's another lot of QVC and HSN jewelry. I did want this lot. I was bidding on this lot. I love that brooch. Wow. So nice. I'm sorry that I didn't win this one. Look at that. That's very different. Whoa. Sorry. Yikes. <laughs> That's a fantastic cuff. That's really neat, too. I really love that. I think that was a Judith Ripka. That whole lot sold for two twenty five. Not bad, not bad. I'm surprised I didn't bid higher. Oh well, that's okay. This lot I love, of course. Check out all these brooches. There's oh look at that one. But someone I guess was selling these in their shop. That whole lot sold for one seventy. I think that's about right. Except for this creepy pin that's coming up. What do you think about these faces on this pin? Look at that. Isn't that weird? I wanted the whole lot because I just wanted that one pin. If that's anything that anyone recognizes, tell me. I thought that was very, very interesting. I love unusual things. That's a nice oldie too. Some condition problems on the back. I think one of those stones is chipped. I think I just noticed it. This lot is another fantastic lot that I love. There's some beautiful sage in there. I loved a lot of the pieces in this lot, and I was bidding on it. And I won the bid. So let's take a look at this lot. Isn't that beautiful? Who else loves Sajin? <laughs> it's great, right, Mom? Yeah, his tail is uh, his, his trunk. trunk is his trunk. Way, way up. Very happy. That's fantastic. Yeah. So this is an expensive piece. You you can see why. It would be expensive to make. There's a lot of things going on here. I'm just trying to make sure my focus is okay. And the fancy bail again. And the I fancy bail. Do details. Yes, just the little. Yeah. The little extra something, a druzy here. Yeah. I don't know what kind of stones. That's probably a topaz, and I don't know what that one is. This is beautiful. This it is. It's so artistic and very different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love this. And it's good luck. This is so different. Very. Look at those pearls. This is a desert rose trading. There it is. DRT. I love this piece. I guess this one didn't come with a chain. It's very, very nice. Look at that big giant bale. You could put all kinds of different yeah, like size you chains. Said, you can do, do different. Uh, yes. A torque. Yeah. That's kind of what it. You know, I guess that's not really helping us. I think it's very unusual. This is, is definitely a conversation piece, very artistic. I love that. This one shows off the beauty of nature. This is a beautiful stone. 
I don't know if that's agate or jasper. It is very lovely though, my camera. I can't tell if that's not focusing properly. Let's see if I can get it in the light there. You can see it a little bit more. There it is. That's what it looks like. Lots of silver on this one. I think it is just marked 925. I don't think there is a maker on this one. And there's what the thickness looks like. That's fascinating. No two alike for sure. Look at that, all natural, lots of silver. This one is marked Aria, A-R-Y-A, -A, and there's the 925. This one is very interesting. I, I guess that's hematite. Is that what those two blobby looking silver things are? And then I don't know what that one is. I'm not really sure what this is. But I do love it. Oh, look, if I take my finger away, that's something. Sorry, I hope I'm not making everybody car sick. That's very cool. That's rough. This one down here. Well, obviously, the silvery ones are rough. Not sure what it is, but I love it. This is another one that is a conversation piece. Look at the height. I love the combination of colors and textures and sizes. And well, shapes. You go with a lot of things. Go with a lot of things. Here's another cross. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at the height. I don't think it's been worn. Nice weight on this. This one is signed ATI 925. And then uh I I'm not sure what that says. Let me just check. It says Mexico. There it is. ATI 925 Mexico. I love all the crosses I, I got. Know. I know. They are really so different. This isn't just your run of the mill. No, you told me I could have one and I can't make up my mind. I know. We have a big <laughs> selection so for beautiful. sure. Yeah, we have a lot more coming out in coming weeks. So yes. stay tuned for that. But I think this one is very beautiful. I do too. I love this mod cross. Look at the inlaid work. That's very different. Really? This comes on the chain too. This is a snake chain. Very nice. This is also sterling. Yeah. And this is marked, I've never seen this name brand before, Old World Cross. And that is a K and there's a sterling mark. Nice weight on this. We'll put this on our neck and see if we can see it a little better. That's really nice. You, you think to yourself it's plain, but it's not plain. It isn't plain. It's it's a mod shape. I love the inlay. Oh, here comes the sun again. I don't know if the sun is making stuff look cooler or awful. <laughs> I, I can't tell. But I do I do love this cool modernist piece. Well, this one is marked FH in script, and then it says Italy, and then it says 925. If I can figure out who that is, I'll write it on the screen. Oh, look at that. Don't you love that? Yeah. I do. That would look so good in the lights at night when you're out or during the daytime. Look at her pearls. This is very nice sterling silver pendant. Wow. Never seen one like this before. This one is nice. I like the rope design and this is 14 karat gold and sterling. And there's the markings right there. What color is the stone? It's like a root beer. Yes, that's it. Root beer. Root beer. It is. I wouldn't have never have <laughs> thought to say that, but that's exactly right. Yeah. It's sort of a beigey, brownie, yeah, tanny yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of thing. That's really nice. And that's, it opens up like nice, this. Nice, nice, nice. That's a nice piece. Yeah. Nice and substantial too. Not just a little thing. No. Nice weight. This is one of my favorites from this lot. I love the amethyst cab. I love all of this metal work. And this one is signed Mike Smith. Wow, why is my focus doing that? Mike Smith Sterling. I believe he is or 
was a Navajo silversmith. Let me bring this one into the light. Wow. This is so beautiful. I love the look of Native American jewelry. Do you, Mom? Oh, I sure do. I love this one. I certainly do. I couldn't find one quite like this by this artisan. So this maybe it's a one-off. I'm not sure. Don't know how to date it either. It's very different, isn't it? Oh, it is for sure. I love it. As always, we'd like to thank everybody so very much for coming. Right, Mom? Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you and goodbye. Let us know what you think below, especially let us know what your favorites are. We love to read that. And if you'd like to buy anything, reach out at I am the funky pickle at gmail.com. We'll see you soon. Be well till then. Bye bye.